I think right now is a good time to talk about the old man situation. A lot of y'all been asking about it. We ended up getting citations for what happened. The lady cop, or well, the, all the cops were saying, oh, you guys aren't going to get tickets, this and that. Like, it's just going to be a warning. Well, just don't come back. And after Mr. O. Wilford Brimley went over to talk to the cops, then the cops come back and they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to have to give you citations. Um, you guys are going to have to show up to court, this and that. So I'm like, what the f***? So we ended up having court. This was during uh, COVID, I believe. I had court over a Zoom call. Another guy that I was with, he was on the Zoom call as well. The judge asked us how we wanted to proceed and we were like, hey, we're gonna do a bench trial. We ended up doing a bench trial and the old man got lawyered up. I didn't get a lawyer. I wasn't gonna waste my money on some shit. I kind of just disregarded that. I pull up to the courthouse and Wilford Brimley is there. <laughs> I'm waiting in my truck for the time for our court to start. I'm waiting outside and I see Wilford Brimley pull up. Dude had the whole fit, all the drip on. I'll probably put a little video I took of him. I go downstairs. The courtroom is downstairs. So I go down there. I see Wilford Brimley sitting down. He's like on the bench right in front of the doors to the courtroom. And there's some doors like kind of far away. So I went to go sit there until they open up the courtroom or whatever. And he's sitting there with his lawyers and everything talking about what the f ever. Wilford Billy must have said something and they ended up moving like within a minute of me sitting there. So yeah, they went into the courtroom. I go in, you know, the whole court procedures stuff going on. I don't know what to expect. So I go in there. The judge calls me up. Wilford Brimley and his lawyers are on the other side. Uh, whatever. So we go through the court. Basically, Wilford Brimley's lawyer is like, oh, did you get permission from him to, to go on the property? And I'm like, no, that's not his property. <laughs> he doesn't even own it. If you look online, the coordinates of that place, it shows that the state of Missouri owns it. What happened happened. I'm not sure about it. But from looking at that place, it looks abandoned. Like, it looks like a, an old factory which it is a factory, which I don't know why he would own a factory, but that's not my business. That looks like some old government property, some old rundown shack, you know. You know, cool place to take picture, whatever. I didn't see one time where he proved that he owned the property at all. I ended up getting charged with trespassing in the second degree. Other guy I was with, he ended up taking up the plea deal that I guess they offered. So it was 34 hours of community service, which I was... Damn, what the? Oh, I thought he ran off the road. What is he looking for? Anyways, I was trying to fight the charge because I was not doing 34 hours of community service. Hell no. I'm like trading 34 hours of riding for 34 hours of community service. No, thank you. So I, ah! I didn't do the community service. I said no, I tried to fight the case. I ended up getting charged with the, uh, yeah, you already know. And then on top of that, I had a hundred dollar, it was like a hundred twenty dollar fine with taxes included, whatever. I'd rather pay that than do 30 hours community service. I ended up getting charged with the misdemeanor, paying a fine, and my other buddy did community service and he has no charges on his record. I don't really care about a misdemeanor charge, but I, I value my time. I'm not gonna give the state my time, you know. I haven't seen Wilford Brimley since, but that doesn't mean I will never see him again. <laughs>